If you want to learn content development and get good in at least six months, this is how you can approach it. Hello, my name is Doka Kasi, I'm a content developer and a technical writer. Welcome to my channel. So, I'm going to be sharing with you the exact roadmap that I'm following now in my learning journey. You have to spend the first two weeks normalizing yourself with code editor and HTML. HTML means hypertext markup language. You spend time learning some basic tags, learning some basic things in the foundation. HTML is like the structure of the web. So it's good that you spend time here at least two weeks to understand the foundation. You are going to spend the next four weeks in CSS and related things. CSS is cascading style sheet and is used for styling the web. So here you're going to learn some basic styling processes here you're going to do a lot of trial and error because you don't have a designer and you shouldn't even have a designer now this css aspect i would recommend you build at least two to three projects in css just using html and css yeah i'm going to show you my first css project and please don't drag me so you are going to spend the next two weeks on responsive web design in my last video, I talked about how front end developers make website work perfectly on desktop, website, tablet, or mobile. So you want to learn how to make your website work on mobile and other devices. So for responsive web design, you can take there's this course. I've forgotten the name of this course. I might link it here that will help you with your responsive web design. You know it has rules. There's how this should look here. There's how it should look on mobile, less items and all that. So next two weeks after your CSS journey will be for responsive web design and there's another pro tip that i want to give you a responsive web design please always use relative units when you are learning your responsive web design don't use static units anyway you find this out when you start learning yeah let's move forward so how many weeks yet we have is that eight weeks two weeks for html four weeks for css and two weeks for responsive web design that's two months in total the next thing you're going to spend time on is learning how to host your website yeah, this might seem a bit off, like why am I hosting a website with HTML and CSS? This will enable you to test on live devices. You can even send it to your friends for review, like, bro, how does this look? So that's why I'm going to say that one week should be dedicated to hosting. And the hosting site you're going to be using, Netlify and or Vessel, either of the two. But since you don't even know the next thing I'm talking about yet, I think you just have to stick with Netlify. You're going to spend the next one month learning JavaScript basics. Another pro tip I want to give you for JavaScript is that a lot of things will not make sense to you when you're learning as a concept until you start building. So just follow. Even if you don't get it, leave it. Move to the next thing. Just keep learning at least for the basics. It's depending on what you're learning with. Should I even make a video on the website you should learn? Yeah, I might do that. But depending on what you're learning with and the resources that you're learning with, just stick with the basics and run through it for at least one more. During this one month, you can build simple projects, color game, timer, calculator, to-do list. These simple projects are just to enable you to understand core JS functions, core JS concepts. The next thing you have to learn in this journey in the next two weeks would be version control. Version control enables you to collaborate with other developers from different locations remotely. So we are not just for other developers, it helps you to get different versions of your project at a point in time. And the version control system that we normally use, that I normally use, is Git. During the process of learning this Git in two weeks, you're going to learn how to interact with the command line, interact with npm and other packages you're going to use the next one to build the project in my opinion just add functionality to those projects that you built with html and css initially this is going to make you skyrocket the whole process but if you have good ideas and want to flex your creativity muscles you can just start projects from scratch but this shouldn't pass one month one month is it too much no one month is okay at least two three projects real projects not calculator then you're going to spend the next one month learning react js or any framework of choice but i picked react because i'm telling you the roadmap that i'm following so react js is a library of javascript react is going to help you build reusable applications that are scalable and easy to use so react is my thing yes i will use react <laughs> 
<laughs> now you can now use one week to learn api just the basics of apis you can also learn how to use firebase for authentication if there's need for it but if there's no need for it you can just leave it as well you can as well learn ESCs, es7 and every other extra thing html5 and the rest of them that are required in this space so in summary you're going to do html for two weeks you're going to do css for four weeks you're going to learn responsive web design in two weeks you're going to learn web hosting in one week you're going to learn javascript in one month version control in two weeks building real projects in one month and of course learning react js or any other framework of choice in the next one month they can use the extra few weeks to learn apis firebase for authentication escs es7 and html5 this roadmap generally depends on your time schedule and of course your learning pace whether you're a fast learner or a slow learner so if you dedicate at least four hours daily for the next six months you would be a good front end developer so whether you're a fast learner or a slow learner do not be discouraged the most important thing is that you start learning today if you found this video helpful please like comment and subscribe to my channel please just subscribe now please 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 <laughs> thank you so much i'll see you in another video bye Mm-hmm. <laughs>